You know, come to think of it, this is actually my second ever specifically furry related drawing tutorial I've ever done. Like all the other drawing tutorials I've done can be like slightly related to any sect of art, except for the how to draw furry tutorial. And this is going to be the first one since that original drawing tutorial where it's specifically furry related. And I find that hilarious. Anyways, hello everybody, my name is Zillian Ross, and today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to draw a very special species to me, and that is how to draw a protogen. In a top secret biotech facility, a race of superior beings have created a range of cyborg creatures, each with the intended purpose of exploring the outer unknown reaches of the universe. These technological fluffers are known as protogens. Protogen are an earlier prototype model of the known cyborg species Primogen. Unlike their up-modeled 70% artificial cousins, Protogen are only 40% artificial with a fully functioning digestive tract, natural organs, skeletal, and vascular system. And again, let's scroll down here. They sport a fluffy coat, large claws. All limbs work in a plug-and-play system connected via ball and joint socket. Includes arms, legs, and tail. Batteries not included. Okay, know what a protogen is? They're really fun species. I really love them and they look cute as heck. Me from five years ago would be cringing at me right now and I love that fact. Now there are plenty, there are plenty of rules with how to draw a protogen. I'm not really gonna go into too much detail on that because it's already outlined on here and you can find it on the website, which I will link in the description down below. So let's go to ears. So for the ears of a primogen, uh, protogen, what am I talking about? You can do one to two ears. You can't do three, you gotta ask special permission for three because that's, that's a rare version. This one, this one. This is the only two you can really do. But you got horns, you got horns, and you got plenty of horns. There really isn't any limited options with horns. Here's um, six options right here, but I don't think that's the only one. And then you got tails, you got a bunch of different tails. You got, you got choices. It's, it's like a car, you got, you can choose different colors, finishes, different appendages. You got options. Now I know people are thinking, well, hell, that's not a lot of options. Well, actually, if you calculate just with these ones, you have about 72 options. And I press you to draw 72 different protogens because I know I wouldn't willingly do that. In any case, because there's not really much more I can explain, we should just jump straight into drawing them. So if you will follow me through this transition, Let's get started. So, I forgot to turn my audio on. I recorded this like an hour of footage and it's all useless. I'm about two seconds away from ripping somebody's head off. This is great. It's a good thing I'm cramped in a small room with hardly any light. I'm going to kind of go out in terms of detail. So we're going to start with a basic figure. I'm going to draw an action line here. Just a pretty straight one. Kind of like that. I don't like that. There we go. I'm going to draw the head, which is going to be relatively medium size. And then you're going to draw the torso. This is going to be a little bit rounder than you would see on maybe a human or other animal species, just because of the chest plate that we're going to put underneath it. And then we're going to draw the torso, which is actually going to be a little bit larger than the chest piece. Like so. And this is just going to be round. It's kind of like a snowman telekinetic snowman. We're gonna have a little bit of space here and we're gonna have just a teeny bit more space but for the neck than there is for the torso. And this is interesting to a protogen and we'll get into why a little bit later. So the thing I wanna focus on now is the head. I'm going to pull up here and I'm actually gonna draw another circle because the head is a little bit interesting for a protogen. On most species, we have a snout and we have the cross hatch and the snout kind of goes right along there. Uh, pretty simple, pretty easy to remember. I think most people can get this down pretty easily. A protogen is slightly different because a protogen is actually more of an egg shape. So it's gonna be more like that. And it's kind of cut off at the bottom there. So with that in mind, 
this is the general shape that you're going to want for a protrusion head. Now, there's a couple of sections that we're going to need to keep in mind when looking at the protrusion head. We're going to think of it in terms of six because we have the side cheek plates and the bridge, the visor. So I normally think of this as kind of a six. Basically, you draw a six right here and the bridge is this section right here. And then the cheek plate and the cheek um, light up thing is that section right there. And that is pretty simple to remember. What we're going to do now is we're going to have the ears, which start around here actually, and kind of go back like that. Now the ears can be anywhere from the size of the visor to way bigger. I'm going to draw mine a little bit big like that. And then we're going to have fluff up there, fluff in the back, fluff everywhere. And that's how we draw a protogen head. That's how we're doing it from the side. Granted, we're not going to be doing that from the side. We'll get into a little bit more detail once I draw the basic egg shape. So I'm going to draw the basic egg shape to kind of get the outline going. I'm going to have the crosshairs like that. I'm going to now attach the neck. The neck seems relatively long. That's okay. It's covered up with a lot of fluff. Once we go into more detailing, we will actually add that fluff. Now, for the torso, it also bends in a little bit too. A protogen is actually very hourglass shaped, so keeping that in mind, it's basically a long necked, thick hipped freak of nature, and it's novelist. I'm now going to draw the arms. So we're going to draw this protogen waving. So I'm going to have the hand up here, and I'm just going to kind of attach it with just like this. Now when drawing arms and hands, I actually recommend drawing the hand first before the arm. That way you can get the placement and then just attach the arm later. I'm actually going to use kind of a shape like this for the protogen lower arm. And then we're just gonna attach it with another bar like that. And this is one way that I can do it. And the other side, I'm actually just going to make a tentacle like arm like so. That is just gonna be just this basic design. Attach a hand to the end of that. And that's it. Now for the legs and doing digigrade legs, I actually have an interesting technique. It's kind of me just improvising a lot. What I tend to do is I tend to draw it in terms of plantigrade. So I'm going to zoom in a little bit and I'm going to draw it plantigrade. So basically like that, and like that. I'm going to draw the spots where the feet are gonna be. I'm going to make those in terms of a protogen and primogen, so we're going to make it anthropomorphic now, which is kind of the little domes that I showed in the previous tutorial, triangles. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw the basically the very thick thigh pieces. Now the thigh pieces are basically just this giant ellipsoid on a protogen and on a primogen, and it's a very three-dimensional shape. What I'm going to do is I'm actually going to draw that on this character now. So I'm going to draw the ellipsoid on one side, and it's going to take up a large portion of the lower body, like so. Maybe even bigger. And these look really big, I know. Just trust me, it'll look good. Just give me a second. And now I'm going to basically draw the digigrade section. So I'm going to kind of draw this bow right there and I'm gonna basically draw an hourglass right here to kind of reference that bow in the leg, but when it's pointing at you. I'm going to continue it back there and bring it in like so. And we are done with our basic protogen shape. I am now going to basically copy gonna make it a little bit larger. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into a little bit more detailing. I'm gonna turn this layer opacity down to maybe about uh, 50%, so that's at 43. And now we are going to go into detail this drawing. Now, let's start with the head. We determined that we are going to want to have the head be a bit of an egg-like shape. So I'm just going to put a little bit of a point right here. There is a ridge at the top that kind of goes across like that, or you can have a ridge that it goes from the bottom up there. I've seen people do, draw protogens and do it different ways, but I'm going to kind of have that ridge that way. I am going to draw the giant six, like so. I'm going to bridge the head like that. 
and I am going to create a little light up feature right here. I'm going to erase a little bit right here, draw the fin back like that. And there we go. We have the face of a protogen or whatever is left of the face. I mean, there's only so much face you can have when it's a visor, but we're not here to ask questions. We're here to draw robots. Well, not rob Sue me. Cybernetic things. Expensive circles. We're drawing expensive circles. Uh, just gonna do a little bit of touch up right there. And now I'm gonna draw the ears. So they start right here, kind of loop back around like so. I'm gonna draw it on the other side here too, like that. And you know what? I'm feeling two ears. So I'm gonna just reference the top of these and then I'm gonna draw another ear down here because this guy's a really good listener and he wants to hear your story. He wants to listen to you. He will give you the time of day. He will listen. And then this is going to be like a little bit of a half uh, cone in both ears, just to kind of reference the three-dimensionality of it. Next thing we're gonna focus on is we're gonna focus on the chest or the actual chest component. I'm gonna go over here to the side and basically reference what it looks like from the front, which is like this, and from the side, which is gonna be, we'll do it right here. Now, the chest piece normally comes out on the side, like if we're gonna look at it from a side angle, which is this one right here, is going to kind of curve down like this, come to a little bit of a point up there, curve down, and then jut back, like so. And then it curves around the back, and then the armholes are right here. Pretty simple, pretty easy to remember. And then if you're looking at it from the front angle, basically you're gonna have this V right here. It's gonna curve up like that. And then you have the armholes right here. And it's just kind of looks like that as a chest plate. And this isn't a set way to do it. You can do it a bunch of different ways. I tend to experiment with the chests quite a bit, but we're gonna just do the basic chest because that's how protogens are normally drawn. So we're just gonna stick to the basic one. So we're gonna have front section. So this is the front of the protogen. I'm gonna draw a little bit of a V right there, just to reference top. Now we're gonna be drawing fur over this. So we're just going to leave it a very uh, rough and very transparent line work. And then we're gonna have the front, which is gonna look like that. We're gonna have it curved down. We're gonna have it curved up right there and curved down right here to create that upside down V. Gonna taper it off in the back or just reference it up. It words. I'm going to basically create a line in the back, making it an actual piece of armor instead of like some weird um, bra in the front and I am going to draw the shoulder guards. Shoulder guards, super difficult. Absolutely, absolutely the hardest part, the entire protogen. It's just, it's like a, it's just an oval. Really hard to draw, absolutely just, whew, God. Mm. Man, like, I don't know how, um, how the artist initially did. My sarcasm isn't funny. I don't even find it funny. I'm recording here and my inner conscious is going like, what the hell are you doing? I'm gonna go from there. I'm actually going to section off the arm like I did right here. So I'm just kind of lightly pattern it like so. So that's the lower arm, this is the upper arm. Now for the lower arm, right at the elbow, we're going to have a little tuft, kind of like that. And just nice little tuft, I'm gonna add a little V there just so you reference the joint and yeah, kind of like so. We're gonna redraw in the rest of the upper arm. Now there isn't much muscle mass in a protogen, or at least not ones that I see. It's just not as apparent. They're mostly just fluffy. And that's all we really need for the arm. Just kind of reference, just close it off into the chest plate like so. And there we go. Now we're gonna move on to the hand. Now the hand on a protogen is very interesting because it's mostly claws. It's like just how main wolves are all legs. Well, protogen hands are all claws. When you're drawing like a regular human hand, it's kind of like that and then you, yeah, like so. 
Now, when drawing a protogen hand, it's more like this. It's gonna first off be a little bit more rounded than a human or another anthropomorphic creature hand, and it's gonna be claws. So the thumb is a giant claw, the index finger is a giant claw, the pointer finger is a giant, the middle finger is a giant claw, the ring finger is a giant claw, and the pinky is a giant claw. So it's just all claws. It's all, it's all claws. All claws. Claws. Kind of like that. All claws. <laughs> all claws. All claws. All cl I'm, I'm such a child. I don't think it's in the rules to use five versus four. I am going to use four because that's what I know how to draw. I should probably practice drawing five because I'm obviously terrible at it. And so we're just gonna kind of just lay them in like so. Like that. And there we go. Now, for the thighs. Like I said, it's mostly an oval, an ellipsoid shape, kind of like that. But there is a little prick at the back right there that kind of comes out like so on the initial and original ref sheet that the creator made for it. This is, I found to be optional. I tend to think it looks kind of nice. And then we have a big round screen right here that you can view or put whatever on and that's basically it so we're gonna just repeat that here so we're gonna have like that little thing in the back just kind of like that we're going to wrap around what we've already drawn and like that and we're going to add that screen right there but it's more on the side. So I'm gonna add it right there. Now for the legs, you actually have some tufts of fur that come up over the leg or the thigh piece, kind of like that. It's not very big. It's not that big of a deal. Some people do it, some people don't. It is a personal choice if you wanna do it. I normally put uh, a knee guard there, but it's up to you. Now, we're gonna draw the other leg. Since this one's basically, we don't see the little whip at the back, we're just gonna draw it like this. Just a giant, giant mechanical thigh, thick with three C's. Like so. Now, for the crotch region, I'm going to basically mark it off like so it's relatively round especially since it's mechanical and you have to have the legs with a round insert or a round socket now for the crotch region we're actually going to make a basically just this banded crotch area like so that doesn't look very good like that that is basically just the cover of the groin area for a progen. Now for the midrift or for the torso, it's pretty thin. So we're just going to make it a little bit thin. We're going to add a little fluff right there and then we're going to bring it out. Kind of like so. Again, it's mostly thighs. It's all about them thighs. And let's draw the other hand. Now there isn't really any paw pads on a protogen. It's, it's all just seems to be fur. Again, we are going to draw the fluff coming up at the elbow. And we are going to draw an imprint of the hardest part to draw on this thing, which is the shoulder plates. And we are going to bring that in like so. That is it. Okay. 
Now I'm going to fill in the legs, which is basically we're going to follow the same hourglass shape. We were, yeah, the same shape that we initially sketched out, kind of like so, which is going to be more of an hourglass shape on this side and more of a bow on the other. So like that and like that. Uh, going to bring that tuft up top there, like so. And then we're also going to have the tufts go up like that here as well. There we go. I'm going to do a little bit of racing. I don't like how this leg's turning out, so I'm just going to kind of bring it up like that. And I think that works. And there we go. Now for the head, we noticed that it's relatively small. I'm actually going to make the ears just a teeny bit bigger. I think they're a bit small, so I'm going to increase the size a little bit like so. And notice that I'm not actually transforming the ears. I'm erasing them because I know some people follow me traditionally, and I'm going to do it as if I was doing it traditionally as well, because you know what? I can't, I can't just transform and then make people get really angry at me and throw away their drawings and then never draw again. I'm sure that hasn't happened, and if it has, I'm really sorry. <laughs> okay, let's erase that. Now, the reason the neck is so long is because protogens are really, really, really fluffy. I'm not talking like a little bit fluffy, I'm talking Pomeranian fluffy in places. I know that's weird to think about and it's weird to say, but they are incredibly fluffy. And we are going to try to draw that fluff on the face because right now it's looking really skinny and it's starting to look like a stegosaurus. So let's get started. I'm going to start with the top, I'm going to add a bit of fluff, and I'm actually thinking I'm probably going to block it out because I know a lot of people don't really know how to draw fluff, and thinking of it in terms of like volumes and blocking it into certain areas is going to be a lot more helpful. So I'm going to block off the area that I'm going to have fluff in the head, kind of like that. I'm going to block off the neck. Now what I'm going to do is it's going to be kind of a V pattern, so it's going to block like that and then blocked out like that block like that and then blocked out like that. And then I'm also going to do the back, which is going to be blocked like that and like that. Probably come up a little bit further like that. And that's going to be where we're going to place our fur. Now I'm going to draw the actual tufts in that blocked pattern. So like so. Like that, and then I'm probably going to have one section that goes off the front here too. Like that. There we go. And now I'm going to block off the sections in the back. Like so, and then have a follow up. And then top. Like so. And there we go. It's a pretty decent looking protogen if I do say so myself. Now what we're going to do is we're going to add the tail. I'm going to add like a slightly longer tail. It's going to be a fluffy tail too. So we're going to have block out the fluffy tail. And now we're going to add the actual fluff spots. Like so. And right there. And there we go. We have a protogen. Gonna add a little there, and I'm not really liking the position, so I'm actually just going to take these. I know I said I wasn't going to transform, but I'm just going to shift it a little bit like that. And there we go. So you just twist your paper, I guess. Oh, I feel so bad now. Okay, but that's basically what we've got for a protogen. 
That, that's, that looks pretty good, if I do say so myself. And if you've gotten at least to this point, good on you. This is really, it's not easy to draw protogens. It's kind of a mix of really easy and really hard. There's a lot of sections to it, and I'm proud of you for making it this far. And we're going to continue on. I am going to actually bring up a couple of things about... Uh, armor plating because now we actually need to detail the armor. Now, when doing armor and plate designs, which I've done in the past and which I have do quite often because apparently I'm obsessed with it, you want to have a residual pattern or something that repeats in the armor design. Now, what I'm going to do is I am actually going to think of a design that I might want to have repeated in the armor. And what I'm thinking is triangles. Everybody loves triangles. So something kind of like um, maybe that, like. I don't know, a YouTube progen. Well, if I was creating a YouTube progen, it'd probably be something more like this, except orange. Ah, joke's on you, YouTube. I don't monetize my videos. I don't want to deal with that crap. So we're going to have a repeating triangle pattern. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to take these sections. Oh, that's the whole thing. Okay, so we're going to take these sections. I'm going to just color them in because reasons. And we're actually going to make the markings on the visor and on the screens first, just because our, we've decided our pattern is going to be a triangle and we are now going to kind of perpetuate that throughout the entire armor piece. Choosing a theme for anything you're drawing is extremely important and I would definitely recommend doing it as it'll cause your, your art piece to have some form of unification and that always makes it appealing to look at. It's not appealing when something is scattered and you try to put a bunch of different elements into one thing, which is why a lot of people don't like the traditional sparkle dog. Anywho, we decided we're going to have that kind of triangle pattern. So I'm going to put it in here like so. And we'll do a double triangle on these sections because it looks too much like uh, my friend Shiny Odd, and I don't want to. I don't want to steal his character. I don't want to steal his protogen. And then we're gonna do it here as well, and we're just gonna repeat it through every section of the um, of these screens. Now you could make all these screens to display something different. Like you could have this display a smiley face. You could have one of them display a heart. That's great. That can work, but it's not as unified. And this is a good way to unify it. Now for the face, one of the interesting things about a protogen is you are going to actually put the eye slightly above the mid plane. Now on a human face or on a yeah, anthropomorphic furry face, you're generally going to have, want to have it straight in the middle, but on a protogen, you're going to want it slightly above. So right around here, we'll make this little guy a really happy little protogen. A real happy exclusive trash pile. And we're gonna give him a little smile. Just right down there because he is a really happy little guy. Just like so. And we'll add the triangle pattern right there too. And maybe we'll do it in the face as well. So like that. Look at that little guy. <laughs> He's so happy! We're going to now perpetuate this pattern throughout the rest of the body. I'm going to, I'm thinking probably a triangle right here is a good idea. So we're going to do that same triangle pattern, kind of like that. Or I'm gonna bring it on the other side as well. Kind of like so. I think that works. And then I'm thinking probably maybe do a smaller triangle right here to kind of offset it. We're going to do it a slightly smaller size so that it kind of creates a little bit of feng shui in there. I'm going to do some erasing right around there. I can't tell if I'm like legitimately happy doing this tutorial or if I'm just too tired and my brain is just telling me, screw it. You're just, we're going to send all the emotions to you at once right now. Okay, I'm gonna add a little bit of fluff right in the belly there. I'm gonna just keep that there. Yeah. I'm gonna create that pattern there. I'm gonna do that. Create that there. And then we're gonna have maybe a line come from the back, just like that, so that it looks like it is a section. And then we'll do a line up here too, so that it looks like plated armor. We'll do a little line right there as well. So it's plated, hooray. 
we'll add a little bit of area right in there, right in there. And we'll just shade it in because I think that looks cool. There we go. A little triangle right there. Shade that in too. It's very, very run angry design for something that's so happy. And we're gonna repeat the same thing on the leg. I'm going to have, uh, we're gonna have a line come down right here and form a triangle right there. We're going to do the same thing here. We're going to shade into the triangle. Shade this triangle in two. And then we're going to create a smaller triangle right here. And we're going to have this one loop around as well. Be right there, like so. And we're going to keep it simple, so that's all we're really going to do. Just sometimes less is more, and I'm just going to stop it right there. And I think that looks pretty damn good. I hope you guys were able to follow along with this pretty easily. If you have anything that you'd like me to do in the future, I guess let me know. But for now, I'm actually going to make this go really fast and I'm going to draw a bunch more protogens so that you can follow along. And I will commentate with my stupid voice and tell you what I am doing. So here we go. So I'm going to be using the exact same drawing technique that I use in the tutorial that you've seen already. And I'm just going to be modifying some of the design elements just a tad bit to create something unique. In this case, I'm actually going to be making an aquatic protogen. So I'm adding little fins to the shoulder plates. I'm making everything super streamlined as if it's going through water and adding a mechanical shark tail to the protogen in question. By doing so, I'm able to create a very unique looking character and design without too much effort and without tweaking the overall design of a protogen too much. It's unique, it's stylish, but it still follows the, follows the guidelines quite comfortably. For this one, I'm going to go with a much more striking looking protogen and I'm going to have it in a very heroic pose. I'm also going to be using a little bit of foreshortening on the legs, still using the same techniques that I showed in the tutorial, except this time I'm actually going to be using a much more blocky style of plating in both legs, shoulders, helmet, and chest plate. These still follow the guidelines of a protogen and don't break the rules, but by using a very unique style and structure, I'm able to create something that's very striking and very different from other protogens that you see. You don't need to break the rules to make something unique. In fact, having those guidelines help you kind of gather your thoughts and make something that can be striking by following the rules and by thinking outside the box, even inside of those rules. And that's the area that I myself like to experiment in. Thank you for watching this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something from it and I hope it didn't bore you to complete death. Who am I kidding? It was more than 30 minutes long. Of course it did. In any case, like, subscribe, bell thing, and I will see you all next time whenever I decide to make another video. Bye bye and stop looking at me.